I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste and a waste, bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card never change, play the game that we say I need a break Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack, no it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back up This how you get tough, calluses on my hands so rough, yeah, I call your bluff I'm not the one, mess with me, come down with none, cause I'm so done You had your fun, and now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun Cause I got a full clip, put your name on it, but I'ma let you slide cause you ain't worth it Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Here I am, corporate cosy. Yeah, we're back in Perth, uh, both working full-time jobs at the moment. So sadly, we've uh, left Ocean Lady over in Malaysia. I've got some news about that in a minute. Uh, Mitro's down in Kemerton, which is about two hours south of Perth, and he's working at a lithium processing plant, uh, working three weeks on, one week off. So pretty full on, and obviously we see not as much of, uh, of each other as we used to. I have a full-time job which is based in Perth, uh, working also for a mining company, but I'm just doing the normal nine to five hours. So it's pretty hectic at the moment, as you can imagine. But we've got a lot of things going on and really exciting stuff that we want to share with you. Uh, so firstly, I just wanted to let you know that we have recently purchased a really cool a little product called Salty Straps. Now Salty Straps is a surf hat which actually has a little strap that you can clip on at the bottom and the good thing about this is it's so versatile you can use it for surfing, swimming and especially boat life which is why we bought the brand in itself so uh, I can picture myself being able to zip around on the tender with no concern about my hat flying off and losing it in the ocean which has happened many many times we are going to advance and expand the brand hopefully get a few other bits and pieces that are uh, great for the ocean so anything any ideas drop us a comment recently I had a call from someone from the Daily Mail who wanted to do an article about me and um, the liver cancer that I experienced or was diagnosed this time last year so very excited to let you know that I have um, made it into the Daily Mail uh, and I think it sort of had a lot to do with the resilience that both Mitch 
Peter and I showed in regards to having half my liver removed and then being able to go out sailing for another sort of eight months after that and the journey that we experienced along the way. So I'll leave a link to the article in the description below. So check it out, but it's pretty cute. And I don't know, it's nice to have someone care enough to want to write an article. Now, the third little bit of news, not so little, and I hope Mitcho doesn't mind me telling you without him, but we have Sold Ocean Lady. That's right, it's pretty intense and epic. Such a sad time uh, because we obviously love our Ocean Lady. She has been such a faithful friend and she's taken us all the way up the west coast of Australia, all the way up to Darwin and across to Indonesia, all the way through from east to west and up to Malaysia. And uh, we are very sad that she has been sold, but excited as well, because obviously this opens a new chapter in our life. Uh, Ocean Lady was a bit of a babe, but she was probably not big enough for us to continue our um, dream of sailing around the world. So we are now in search of another vessel which will hopefully take us to all those beautiful destinations that we're excited to explore. Um, our first sort of dream is to go back through Malaysia. We didn't get up to Thailand so we've heard that's amazing and then uh, through the Philippines which will very be very exciting and we can't wait to share with you and take you on the journey of trying to find a new vessel for us to do this in. Obviously like we're not rich so we are working our butts off We've got the money that we've uh, made from Ocean Lady and we are working really hard to expand on that and hopefully buy a vessel that will be, um, that will look after us for another couple of years. So this is why we are now landlocked for a while. Uh, but we have got so many more adventures to share with you from our Indonesia, Malaysia trip. We have just scratched the surface. We have got manta rays, whale sharks, bull racing, uh, we've got some epic amazing experiences in Bima and further on as we go to um, Lombok where we pick up other friends of ours so please stay with us. Uh, we really hope you enjoy the experiences because we had some amazing and epic times and at least if you're interested in traveling to any of these places stay tuned because you'll you'll get a glimpse of what you know the some of the amazing destinations that we've been to so so do stay tuned and of course if you leave a comment like subscribe you know that uh, we really appreciate you watching and uh, we're very grateful for you taking the time out. Uh, we usually make our episodes 15 to 18 minutes, so it's not a big chunk out of your life. So we really appreciate it that you um, they care enough to watch. So yes, there you go. The Cozy and Mitcho update. Bought a new brand, Salty Straps. Been recognized in the Daily Mail and Sold Ocean Lady. So it's pretty um, pretty epic. And obviously now we're working hard to get a new vessel so we can keep our sailing adventure alive. But thank you guys. Thank you so much for everything you do for us. We love you all and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Well, I'm back in Langkawi. So uh, we've come, I've come back to Malaysia. And we can see this beautiful harbor here. And uh, just out in the straight ahead there is Reback Island and we're about to head, I'm about to head back out to Reback Island to um, do a handover to the, the buyer of Ocean Lady. So we've sold Ocean Lady. Um, Cozzy and I have, have been back in Australia for um, a couple of months now and we are working our butts off trying to save as much money as quickly as possible so that we can get the heck out of there and, and uh, get another boat. Uh, hopefully it's something a little bit bigger and faster and um, we're going to be on our way to our next adventure but um it's lovely to be back here i can't tell you it's just as like a, it's just this vibe here it's just so oh, i don't know it's it's like it's like a tropical 
know, it's just lovely. I'm just, oh, so happy to be back here. <laughs> Poor Cozzy, she's missing out though. She's at work today. Anyway, um, anyway, well, I'll show you around. The new owner has apparently made some modifications to the boat, and, but I've just got to come back and collect all our stuff. Um, it's heaps, we've got heaps of our own personal belongings on the boat, and we need to get them off and get them back to Australia, or maybe we'll have to put some in storage here because. I can't take our electric scooters on the plane, so we'll have to store them here somewhere. And um, anyway, I'll bring you along and we'll have a look around Reback. Bye. Back in Lankawi. Back in Reback. Reback Island. There's quite a few, a few boats here and a few people I already recognise. Here's our now sold Ocean Lady coming back to see her for the last time. Just uh, got to collect all our gear off there. I'm guessing by the way the hatches are all open and everything's open there that the new owner's there. Um, yeah. Looks just like what we left her. <laughs> well, I'm off to get the last couple of items off Ocean Lady. Um, she's with the new owners now. So we're just going to take a little scooter ride over through uh, the Reback Island hard stand and there we go, take on a little scooter ride. Looks like it's uh, just getting a new sail bag fitted. It, de it definitely needed a new sail bag. Well, here I am on Ocean Lady for the last time. Um, bit of a sad day, but good luck for the new owners. They seem to be quite in love with it. Painted all the walls dark green. They've uh, removed this panel out of there, which is probably not a good idea because now there's no back on the on the um, lounge. Yeah, alright, so I'm just going to come on and grab my last few little things that I left behind. Um, fortunately, they're not here, so that's a good thing. Um, so, and that's it. Goodbye, Ocean Lady, for the last time. Um, We'll ever see you again, but you've been a really wonderful boat for us for three and a half years. We enjoyed every moment with you. You took us to places we never even dreamed of going. We never ever thought that we'd ever leave um, Perth when we got it. We thought it was just going to be hanging around the Western Australian coast and maybe up to Shark Bay, but we went 10 times further, 20 times further. Old Ocean Lady took us everywhere. And uh, yeah, it's brilliant. So, um, Hopefully it'll be a great boat for the next owners, the new owners now. Um, they're from Denmark, so if, it, if they ever make it back to Denmark, that'll be an incredible achievement. It's not really designed to do that kind of stuff, but um, still, it wasn't really designed to get to where we are either, but we got here no problems. So anyway, good luck to you and goodbye, farewell Ocean Lady. Um, you, we've loved you, me and Cozzy have loved you, and, um, and thanks for all the adventures. See ya! There's the Reback Ferry and the other riddle of the Reback Ferry going back out to the island. And if you go on in the background, that's Reback Island where, where the boat is. And it's all Lankawi. Such a nice place. Sorry to be leaving, but I have to go back to Australia to work. Uh oh. Anyway, we'll uh, see you back in Australia. Bye.